Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe so you get notified when we drop more content. In this screencast, we'll demonstrate simple ways to find the Salesforce ID of a record and how to find the record type ID. The Salesforce ID is a key prefix that indicates the object, plus a set of characters that are unique to that record. The record type ID tells you what record type is assigned to that record. Record types control page layouts, pick list values, and business processes. For example, maybe you have two different record types for your opportunities, one for mail order and a different one for in-store orders. All the mail orders will be assigned to the mail order record type, and all the in-store orders would be assigned to the in-store record type. And if you're importing new opportunities, you'll need to know which record type to assign to them in your import file. Let's start with the Salesforce ID. Say you want to get the unique ID of a single case. We'll go to the case we want and look at the URL bar at the top. Here we can see the case's unique ID as an 18-digit alphanumeric value, which is the key prefix plus a unique character set. The first three characters tell you which kind of object this is. For example, all case records begin with 500. The rest of the numbers are unique for this record. Together, they make up the Salesforce ID. But let's say you want to get a set of IDs instead of a single one. For example, let's say we want IDs of all of our accounts. To do this, we'll create a SQL query in the Developer Console. You can find the console by clicking the gear icon in the top right of the screen. Select the Query Editor tab. Here, you can enter your query. For now, we're just going to fetch all using Select ID from Account. This will return all IDs for the account object. You will notice they all begin with 001. This is the key prefix for the account object. In the short description of this video, you'll find a link to an article that lists the key prefixes for all standard objects. Finally, we will look at the record type ID for an object. To access this, go to the Object Manager for your org. This can be found in Setup. Click the Object Manager tab. From here, Go to the object that has a record type. To begin, let's say we want one for a custom object. From here, click on the Record Type tab, and then into the Record Type label name. In the URL bar, we now have the Salesforce ID and the Record Type ID. The Record Type ID is the second set of 18 characters. For a standard object, the scenario is the same. Go into the object, click the Record Type tab, and click the Record Type label name. Here, there will be only one 18-character set, since standard objects display the name of the object rather than another 18-character string. This 18-character string is the Record Type ID. And now you know how to retrieve these IDs, you will be able to more easily identify the objects you're working with. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.